What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with an LPU. I can't even remember the last time I did an LPU, but I have so much shit to review. I don't even know what to do first. So I figured I shoot the LPU. You guys can vote in the comment section what you want me to do first. Uh, let me just do the ASIC stuff. I haven't done a lot of ASICs lately, but shout out to ASICs Tiger for this bad boy. Highs and lows, gel my went straight to feet. If you guys didn't notice the Instagram, if you guys don't follow the Instagram, uh, I'll throw the thing up, but whatever. I do a lot of stuff on the Insta story, or I try to do a lot of stuff on the Insta story, so you can kind of stay on the day to day with me because I, I stick and move a lot. So, yeah, Timberland, Supreme, Black Flag, whatever you want to go with on that. I try and keep it so that they stay in focus, get a little extra close for you. Next up, we got a little frozen yellow joint. The light is super bright. I apologize. I'm going to keep it here. Um, 350, super limited. I didn't realize how limited they were. Um, but yeah, kind of fire in hand. Only thing that throws me off is the gum, but whatever. It is what it is. 700, Wave Runner, whatever you want to go with. I wore these a few times already. Super comfortable. Definitely not my favorite shoe of the year. Uh, if it makes it to the top 10 of anything, they're fucking lying. Beluga V2. I mean, another one. So it's great. Yeah, honestly, like this is probably the most uh, easily rocked pair of Yeezys to come out. So definitely... I can understand why the numbers were so high. Late pickup, shout outs to you know who for this. I'm, I don't know if you want me to say your name, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, Packers, who's the other person on this? Oh, Soul Box. Packer Soul Box, Ultra Boost Mid. I like the mid a lot. Uh, I don't know if this is my favorite. Oh, it's definitely not my favorite mid. I don't know why I'm lying. Uh, colors are kind of fire though. Black, a little speckling in there, a little gray. I just don't like this little wire thing they did on the uh, the toe box, uh, so you can see the light reflect off it. It's really annoying. Next up, another Ultra Boost in the mid portion. Ronnie Feig, non-native, black, um, 3M stitching throughout the rest. Definitely dope, definitely fire. He just dropped a teaser of the friends and family pair. Fuck you. Um, such bullshit, man. It's like frustrating. Uh, and now I'm gonna get into Nike stuff. Nike stuff is next. If you guys can't tell, uh, fourth quarter Nike really pulled out all the stops. Obviously top 10 is in here, or the 10 is in here, but I'll get to that last. Uh, let's get into AJ1s. What's the first one? Oh. The ComplexCon exclusive that I got <laughs> after ComplexCon for retail because everybody's out of their minds. Um, top three, patent leather fire just fire um i'm happy i got my hands on these i wanted them at complex con union you guys suck uh basically all oh, your security sucks i don't know about anybody in the store because i didn't meet anybody because i didn't wait in line long enough after all the fuck tree um i'm gonna try not to curse after all of the effed up stuff that you guys did or the security did outside of the store um definitely dope though next up i had to grab these like i had to do it very dope on foot clean needs a review regardless but fire i don't know honestly the votes is going to do or is going to get you reviewed something first or something reviewed first another complex exclusive uh i didn't win these i did get them for a super 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 low rate stash air force one high you probably can't see any of the good detailing on it aside from that on the outsole stash is it the right way? Yeah, it's the right way. Anyway, um, clean. The 3M is the best part about this shoe. I'm not a big fan of highs, but I'll wear something to cover up the top of this. But very, very fire. Sorry for the lighting. Staple, pigeon, black pigeon, whatever you want to go with on that. Clean, simple. Black and gold 3M, 97. Must cop. Fire, 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 fire. A million of them, fire. 97, black, volt, 3M. Uh, obviously, we're going to move on to the top 10s. Air Jordan 1. You guys, see, if you want to see the review, it's already up for this one. Presto. Again, if you want to see the review for this one, it's already up. Vapor Max. Definitely fire. Needs a review. Clean. My favorite three. Jordan 1. Uh, Presto. Vapor Max. Honestly, I, there's one more that I got to add to that list that is just insane. Air Max 90, definitely dope. I'm not even a big fan of the Air Max 90 silhouette, but when it's deconstructed like this, it definitely makes it more fire. Um, I like the Off-White collection as a whole, definitely dope. 
Um, not mad at the way that this was structured and designed. I'm very pleased with it. So, a little blazer action. I, I like these a lot too. There, there's really nothing wrong with any of the shoes in the collection, aside from the Hyper Dunk. I just don't, I, I just didn't want to grab that shoe. Um, either way, the rest of the collection, very wearable, very dope. It's just uh, really not much to say about it. The other shoe from the collection that has just struck me as a very, very fire piece. I like Air Force One, not as much as everyone else. It's very hard for me to wear because the creasing on the toe box, but this uh, inverted mesh toe box with the welded technology around the toe cap makes it just indestructible one and two, very, very easy to wear. I've worn them maybe three times already, very dope. Next up, Air Max 97 from the Off-White Collection, clean. Only thing about it, uh, there's no material on the inside. Super, super thin, welded technology and mesh. Um, yeah, I didn't need to go a half a size up. I used to wear a size 11.5 up in the 97. Could have did a 10 and a half. I have a little extra room in the front, but I, it's doable. And last but not least, the Zoom Fly from the Off-White Collection. Basically, uh, I got a 10 and a half thinking they would be you know, true to size. Uh, could have been 11 and a half in these bad boys. They run super small. I got to take the footbed out, which is pretty much non-existent, but it's just a little piece. You can take it out and it, it fits just right to the toe, but it's also clear so you can see everything in there. So wear some dope socks. Uh, Cyanus, Cyanus, whatever it's called. It's a place in Boston, Pier, Doc, something like that. Somebody, Boston's best told me and I totally forgot already, but this is the blue colorway from the original. This is the red colorway from that collaboration as well uh the one that they never released but obviously in red pretty easy dope fire materials great and last but not least was the most recent bespoke that i've done i have a video to go with this so i'll do the whole walkthrough of it for you and that is it for the sneaker lpu i probably forgot something i do apologize if i did but whatever is what it is oh yeah whatever it's out if you guys aren't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button if you have any questions comments hit me in the comment section and in the comment section whatever you guys want to see reviewed first just if somebody comments just hit them with the replies underneath so i know what's going on or it's easy for me to keep up but I, i'm gonna do them little by little but if you whatever you hit me with first i'll review first i'm out of here peace